Hello guys, welcome to x2design.com. This video is about Creo user interface. This is Creo user interface. This is the Creo web browser. You can close it and you can get it back from bottom left corner here. Yes, you can switch. And let's go create new file. Create. And you can see so many options, so many modules available in Creo. These are the modules available in Creo. Part assembly, manufacturing, draw, drawing, format, repeat, uh, uh, report, diagram, notebook, and all. And in those modules, we can see subtypes are also available. For example, in mo in path model, we can see solid, sheet metal, bulk, and cable harness. In assembly, you can see design, interchange, verify, process plan, NC model, and those kind of subtypes are also available in each module. So let, let me go with the part one because this is the beginner's tutorial right so go with the part one and here you can see the name and the common name the name will be the file name and Creo will not allow any spaces in the file name for example if you want to create uh, uh, if you want to create a file name uh, cylindrical block it says that illegal characters in input so I need to remove the space between the cylindrical and block coming to common name this will be the de description to the part okay we can define the same name without the spaces and here uncheck this box use default template so it will take if you check it it will take the default settings okay uncheck it go here you can select the system of units for the part I will go with the inch part solid and I will define my name Sundar and description this is a tutorial tutorial and here you can check this copy associate drawing what it will do is it will copy these preferences to the associated drawings if you create a drawing for this part these preferences will be as followed in the drawing okay just click it yes this is the part model user interface and this is the feature ribbon here and this is the navigation plane and in navigation panel you can see the model tree as well as the common folders as well as the favorite folders as well and down here this is status bar in the status bar uh, you can hide and show the navigation plane and second one you can show or hide the web browser Creo web browser and coming to this area this is action history we can say we can call it as action history so it will record everything for example let me let me create a block okay go to extrude go to model tree select any plane select any plane to define the sketch and go to circle and define and I have defined a closed profile click OK and yeah whatever the action we have done those will be recorded here for example selecting the sketch and defining the center of the circle and all uh, uh, the uh, it will record everything what we we have done in the workspace so coming to this this area you can find a status bar like here there are three color uh, color representations are there for example here it is showing green so green means there are no errors in the model and here it will be shown sometimes uh, yellow color dot so it represents the the model need to be regenerated or rebuilt and if this third dot shows red so there are some errors in the model okay likewise we can identify the status of the model and coming to this option so find we can find any feature if if, if the model tree gone bigger and we can we unable to find any feature then we can find those items from here we can filter them whether we we are looking for a 3d curve or a dimension or an annotation axis datum whatever we have created so we can filter them and we can search them from here and uh, we can we can 
uh, okay and then coming to this area this is selection filter uh, what it will do is if you want to select any particular point if i want to select this axis so i need to go to here and i can i can uh, select datum and i can say select the axis so likewise it can filter the item uh, whatever we want uh, yes and coming to here this is command switch it will be more useful uh, when we are new to this software for example if i want to measure uh, something on this model so then i can straight away switch measure so once you enter the suggested commands will be appear here so once you hover them with your cursor so it will automatically snaps where the command is listed so for example here it is listed under analysis tab and this is the tool we are looking for so likewise it will it will automatically shows where the command is listed so uh, it is more useful when you are a beginner yeah hope it's help and coming to this ribbon feature ribbon you can i will tell you how to customize this ribbon before going into uh, before going into model we need to uh, set up the user interface as we like okay right click on this tabs customize ribbon yes customize ribbon so this will open up this window from here we can we can see the tabs appeared here so these are the same tabs appeared here yeah okay so if i want to add a new tab for example if i want to list the favorite comments into a single tab so then i then i click then i can create a new tab okay so i want to rename it as something like user tools okay then click okay so here you can see that the user tools has been created from here and you can click it this tab is this ribbon is empty so uh, i need to add some commands into that new tab so this this group is also need to rename something like uh, i will add modeling modeling tools and if i want to add some other group i can add uh, rename it analysis analysis tools okay in model in modeling in modeling group i want to add some model tool modeling tools so go to this filter and you can search the modeling tools from model tab so the modeling tools will be appeared here i want to add extrude into this modeling uh, modeling group so click extrude and here you need to select that select the uh, group you want to add and click add it will be add into the modeling group okay likewise here shown if i want to add measure into the analysis group i can click analysis and from here list out the analysis tools click analysis tab and you can see the analysis tools for example i want to add measure okay click measure and then click add yeah that's it you you can see the you can see the tools here yeah likewise you can customize this tools ribbon as well yeah this is the all about this creo user interface thank you for watching please do subscribe if you have any doubts please uh, ask me uh, or comment below and our next video is going to be on this options menu so from file options we can we have so many options here uh, uh, in the next video we will discuss about these tools Thank mm -hmm. you.